Tonight, the Decatur City School District is working toward turning multiple buildings into affordable housing for teachers and staff. Yeah, Teresa Bowles joining us now. And Teresa, you looked into what this could mean for educators. I did. Uh, I spoke with the superintendent, and though it's early in the process, the board hopes this keeps teachers in the communities where they teach. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. A unanimous decision. We want our staff to be here and engaged and supporting the community. On Tuesday, the Decatur School Board approved seeking permits to turn two district-owned buildings into reasonably priced places for teachers and staff. As a lot of people know, Decatur has become a very wealthy area. Houses are selling for upwards of a million dollars. I checked Zillow and the average cost of rent in Decatur is almost $1,900. It's unattainable for them to live in our in our in our community, and we want to make sure that they've got a place here that's affordable. Superintendent Maggie Furman says if it all works out, this district owned house on Westchester Drive and this one on South McDonough Street will be converted into duplexes. Michelle Hughes lives across the street. Decatur is a, um, becoming more and more expensive each year to live in. Berman says in her district, the average teacher's salary is around $50,000. Hugh says she's excited about the homes, but wonders who will take care of things like overgrown plants. We go over there and try to maintain the property a little bit. I hope they have on their plans to spruce up the, um, the park surrounding it. Berman says that will be on a management company or the tenants, and she hopes they'll stick around. So that they have those additional supports and perks so that they want to come here and the ones that we have here stay here. The big question on a lot of residents' mind is why not just give teachers a raise? Well, the governor has already proposed a $2,000 raise that Furman says the board is already considering. Some good information. Hopefully we'll see some action with this. Um, you may have noticed that Teresa is a new face, so we are excited to welcome Hi, you on board. And she's another Georgia girl on staff. Yeah. You're from here. ATL, baby. Come on. Born and raised. Grew up in Clayton County. Went to Sandy Creek High School and graduated from Austin State. So Come on thank now. you guys for the warm welcome. We are so excited to have you, and we can't wait to see more of your reporting in the future. Welcome. Thank you so much.